Yeah, I'm excited to see her tonight, but what I'm more excited about is the restaurant. I mean, have you seen their artisan cocktail menu? It's fantastic. People keep telling me I should just be myself on this date, but I don't think they really understand the full implications of what they're saying, because I can be a lot. She's gonna ask me a bunch of questions about myself, and I'm gonna have to answer in complete sentences. <sighs> Why? Before I asked her out, I may have done a little bit of Facebook stalking. I might have run a background check, searched the court records for her name. I only came up with a couple of speeding tickets, so I think we're all right. Now, if I could just figure out who she voted for in the last election. I suggested we fly to Las Vegas for a night of gambling, but she just wanted to go to happy hour, so I let her win. I haven't even met her yet, and she sounds like a snooze fest. It has been so difficult to find a restaurant for this date. We can't go to Red Lobster because she's allergic to seafood. Once, she got food poisoning at Olive Garden, so we can't go there. Her ex's name is Dave, so we can't go to Famous Dave's. Just once, I wish I could be thoughtless. Let me show you how it's done, boys. Yes, I'm calling to confirm my reservation for a table for two tonight at eight. Let me emphasize that I expect top-notch service for myself and my female companion. Otherwise, I will mercilessly drag you on Yelp. She told me she'll be ready for me to pick her up at seven-ish. What is ish? Does that mean 702, 703? If I show up at seven, is that now unacceptable? Is she gonna say to me, I told you seven-ish, not seven. If I'd wanted you here at seven, I would have said seven, not seven-ish. To get ready for a date, I really like to set the vibe. I turn the lights down low, light some candles, take a bubble bath, put some Tay-Tay on in the background. Mm, my girl has some world-class romantic bops, you know what I'm saying? This shirt, what? What's wrong with it? I mean, I like it. If she doesn't like it, she doesn't like me. I know I look good, but do I look too good? I don't want to intimidate on the first date, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking this date super seriously. I mean, look, I'm wearing a collared shirt. I even use mouthwash. Now, I'm running about two hours late to meet her, but I'm gonna look really put together when I finally get there. I sure hope tonight goes well. I mean, is there anything worse than being on a bad date in public? Ah, you might as well wear a sign around your neck that says, hi, my life is crap, please laugh. I'm not really concerned about tonight. If it goes well, great. If it doesn't, then I have a convenient excuse never to do this ever again. I can't lose. I'm really feeling this girl, man. She's so mysterious. Bruh, she just double texted me. Very needy. I think this is gonna be a fun date tonight. But I do wonder, what happens when the high of a new romance wears off and is replaced by the day-to-day -day monotony of real life? Is she even interested in who I am at my core? Or does she just care about the illusory image that I'm projecting right now? Well, I guess I gotta, I guess I'd better head out now and uh, meet her. Yeah, gonna, <clears throat> gonna be a lot of fun. If you wanna own some of these cool designs to wear on your own body, the link is in the description. You can be repping your favorite YouTube channel, which is this one. I just wanted that artisan cocktail, you know what I'm saying? That $15 martini. I'm wearing gray with a gray background. That's not good. Uh...